Well, this is classical right here, Papi Chulo Contemporary Mixtape. Check this out, man, it's free 99, no charge, no charge, just check me out. So yo, you never heard of Mac Daddy Black, the nigga from the projects who was known for selling crack. Clock G's every day on the quick tip. He was not the type of nigga you should fuck with. Respected and protected like Fort Knox. Knocking niggas out the box with his fat rocks. Gold heavy, drove a Benz, not a Chevy, and fast like a motherfucking fox. Fast to pull the trigger up his nine. Always ready, kept it loaded all the time. With a pocket full of clips, he's equipped with a grip that will catch you right between the fucking eyes. A body count which is my boy looks like mile. Jack Hopeless Nicholson is shining. He's a pimp with a limp, eating shrimp, making money with his workers out there pumping vials. So much money, you gotta keep it in a sack. You'd be surprised how many people love the crack. Now, you might not agree with the way he makes his money. He don't give a fuck, he's Mac Daddy Black. Now, you might not agree with the way he makes his money. He don't give a fuck, he's Mac Daddy Black. Cadillac, the cut that you see today, actually came from an old cut called Squeeze. Uh, this was the very first cut that I ever learned, and I wanted to make a cut that was kind of similar to that. Okay, so this is kind of my take on that. To start off, you're going to open up in Z-Grip, but you're going to keep this packet at the top kind of hefty because you're going to be breaking off a couple of more packets later. Okay. So you're going to start off in Z grip. The bottommost packet is going to get held by the pinky and the index finger, like this. The top packet now is going to get broken again, and that packet is going to get transferred down to the pinky. Where I'm holding it at with my middle finger is going to get held by the pinky. And now the second to bottom packet is going to get held with my thumb. So I'm basically going to make the transfer to look like that. Okay, kind of like a scissor grip, 
and then this back is being held by the pinky. Now at this point, I'm going to take my thumb and place it on the top of this queen packet where my pinky is. So I'm gonna have to scissor grip or like scissor cut this thing to get my thumb all the way up there, okay? But I'm also going to break open another packet, okay? As I start to transfer this packet over, I keep it on top, okay? Not under, but on top. It closes better when it's on top. The second packet that I just broke in this Ace of Spades packet is now gonna get transferred from being held from my middle finger to getting held from my ring finger with my middle finger and ring, uh, pinky at the back, like a Sybil grip, okay? I'm gonna lift this packet up and the open edge is now gonna contact my pinky, okay? So I gotta rotate my hand a little bit. And once that happens, everything is gonna rotate, okay? Everything's gonna rotate back down to itself like this. Boom. And then that's gonna close. And then these two packets swivel and close on top of each other. Now it's just two packets, the one in my right hand and the one in my left hand. I'm gonna do a revolution cut with my left hand as I turn this packet face down again. So I'm gonna use my index finger to turn this packet all the way back face down. My ring finger is gonna stay on the back with my index finger like this as my pinky reaches over to peel one card off. As that happens, the revolution cut is kind of ending. I let go with my middle finger to let this card snap and roll over. That goes in the middle, that packet closes, and then the index finger turns this packet back face up, and then uses it to flip back onto this packet. Okay, I'll do that one more time for you. So Z grip. This packet comes like this. Another packet gets broken and placed at the pinky while this packet gets pulled up, like so. Another packet is broken as this packet transfers to the thumb, it stays on top. This packet gets Sybil gripped and brought to the pinky. Everything rotates. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do slow. This swivels. This turns as the revolution cut happens. That goes down, closes, and closes. Maybach, okay? 
Payback is also a three packet cut. What is up with me and three packet cuts? Anyway, uh, this starts off opening up with Nebula. That was a failed attempt. Like that. If you don't know how to do Nebula, either ask the Kuso or go find a little tutorial. Or just watch me do it enough to where you get a tutorial. Okay, so essentially you're gonna swing cut and tilt your hand so it, it lands on your, your bent index finger underneath here. Then you use your index finger to kick it out. Okay, that's the opening of Nebula and the opening of Maybach. After you kick this packet up and flip it to the left hand, you are now going to split another packet and contact it with your thumb and middle finger of your right hand, like so. Okay, this is gonna swing out as your hand tries to get that to the middle and turn it like that, perpendicular. Okay, now your ring finger is gonna contact the back of this middle packet as your index finger contacts the side of this packet. Your index finger is gonna rotate that out as your thumb grips that now middle packet, like so. Your ring finger is still bent on the back. You are now able to extend this packet, okay? You're gonna do a revolution cut in the left hand as your right hand extends and goes face down, like a little flare motion. As that happens, you're going to grip the now top packet of this little Charlier and close this extended packet in the right hand back like this. The left hand is now going to take this packet, turn it face down. As your right hand turns palm down, taking this now packet, bringing it up to a new Charlier position, but instead of closing that, you're gonna push up just like a regular Charlier. Your right hand thumb is gonna contact the top, your middle finger is gonna contact the back. And now you're essentially gonna do an interlock move where you pull this packet around the thumb of the left hand, and your right hand ring finger flops this packet over the top like so. Okay. I'll do that one more time for you. So, do a little nebula opener. You kick back, you break off another packet as your thumb contacts the back, your middle finger contacts the front edge. This packet gets swung perpendicular, making sure the ring finger contacts the middle packet. The ring finger takes the top packet and strips it out. This packet flares as you do a revolution cut and grips this packet before it can close that. This hand turns palm up. Your left hand turns this packet face down as your right hand turns back palm down. You take that face up packet and present it in a Charlier position. You almost do a Charlier, but instead doing an interlocking move rotating it around the thumb, closing it with the ring finger. Do that one more time for you in like semi motion. And then this last little move. All right, sometimes I take this little card and I do like a little one card twirl, but it doesn't work all the time. So work with different closers if you'd like, but I really, enjoy this little interlocking closer. I hope you guys find that useful. And here's some slow motion. Enjoy.
All right, so this is Money Counter, a quick three packet cut that involves a dribble in the middle of it, okay? To start off this, you're going to use your pinky and your thumb, okay? Um, you're gonna use it to grip about 15 to 12 cards off the top of the deck on the pipped edges, okay? Once that's done, the left hand pulls the top card to the left and the right hand thumb will cause this card to pivot around like that. Oops, like that. Okay, that goes there. And now you're gonna do a revolution cut with the left hand. So to start off, it looks like this. Your right hand is going to take this packet and twirl it two times. Your middle finger is gonna take it by the other edge and turn it once and then twice. But on the second time, your fingers are gonna stay on the back of the playing cards, like so. Almost like backpack, but lateral, okay? You're going to pull with your thumb and pinky to keep this packet tight. As you do the revolution cut, your hand awaits for this packet. You're going to start dribbling cards into the hand. All you have to do is pull with your thumb and push with your fingers, and the cards will cascade one by one, like so. You can either leave a packet or one card. It's up to you. At this point, I close the packet in my left hand and re-twirl the packet in my right hand back face down. My left hand gets ready for a judo flip action, but instead of going to the top, this cut goes straight to the bottom, okay? I'll show you that. If you know judo flip, this is very easy. You grip a small packet with your thumb and middle finger, and you lift it up. Your index finger is gonna pull on that top packet and pull it around the front edge of the deck as your index finger curls, it will straighten. Then you'll move it out of the way and your thumb will pull it underneath the packet. Okay, show you one more time. So the thumb and the middle finger, pull. Your index finger curls and then opens, moves back out of the way and your thumb pulls it back. As that happens, the thumb will contact the right edge of these cards and twirl it face up like so, leaving it in this position in the left hand. The index finger will then be able to turn this packet back face up on top of this packet. That all happens at once, so I'll show you that. So after this, you dribble, you close this, and turn that back face down. As you get ready for this, the thumb contacts this side, and your middle finger, I should mention, and thumb are on these corners to help it pivot. Your thumb contacts this as this turns, and you do that. You can use the hand to help it go back flat, and the index finger, again, turns it over. I'll do that one more time for you guys. So you pull, this goes face up, revolution cut, dribble, close, face down, get ready, do the cut as that turns. This hand comes under and turns that back up like that. And that's money counter.
So you on top of the world. You working with everybody. You know, I made for a Grammy. Second album got multiple platinum singles. You on top of everything. And then the robbery happens. I'm in the studio listening to some beats. All I hear is boom, real loud. Instantly stop the music. I just hear it. Run, I hear I hear doom, doom, doom. My, my partner say, man, who the fuck in, who the fuck in this crib? Hey, rap pass me the pistol. Bam, I look through the door. I see like three, four niggas running through the crib. All black mask on, running through the crib and shit. One nigga run to the front door. I hop out, I start shooting. Bow, 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 bow. Shot the nigga. Bow, shot his ass. Bow, 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 bow. All the niggas run out the door, they run out the door. This nigga on the floor. Feel me? Walk up to this nigga. Take, the, take his mask off his head. Looked at it, saw who it was. I'm like, damn. Shot his ass again. Bow. He screaming and shit. Ah! Bow. I shut the door. When you took the mask off, did you, see, you knew who it was? I knew who it was. Package cut that goes off the corners. I use this to open up uh, for panache. And then I use panache to close it so it's back face down. Okay. Um, this flourish actually started uh, and got created when I saw Frankie Morales doing a cut that he does not remember um, what he did. Uh, we were in Starbucks and uh, he just was practicing something that, that started face up and and all I remember is that it, it did that and then he did some other crazy shit. And uh, I was like, whoa, what was that? And he had no idea because he was just fiddling. So I just took that beginning idea and made my own three packet cut from it. And I call it Tai Chi. So thank you, Frankie. That rhymed accidentally. So to start this flourish, um, your middle finger is going to contact the lower edge and your thumb is going to contact the top edge. Okay. Uh, you're going to lift about, you know, six, uh, four to six cards up. So you, your palm starts face up and you do that. Okay. Now you're going to turn this so it's perpendicular. Your index finger then is going to take this packet and then turn it face up. And then bring it down behind the left hand like so. Still contacting it. Your thumb and pinky now are going to contact the deck in a somewhat straddle grip and break off. Now you're going to break off and you're going to kind of come to like downwards a little bit because you're going to want to use like this little swirly action that's about to happen. Okay. You're going to pull down and you're going to come around the pinky. Now you're gonna turn this packet back face up by using the left hand. It's gonna turn back down. And now this packet is gonna rotate 540 degrees. So around the thumb. So it comes around and then all the way up, drops. And as that happens, the index finger of the right hand contacts the left hand packet and it's going to use it as an anchor point because now your right hand is going to swerve from this face down position from like this little front position to a palm up position okay your left hand is also going to turn this packet face up so you're going to turn like a doorknob with your left hand as your right hand swings okay as that happens this packet goes underneath they close and your right hand fingers rotate the deck back this way to the left hand. Okay. 
Uh, I should have mentioned in the beginning that when you start this flourish, uh, it, it starts face down but ends face up, uh, which is why I do panache to close it. Okay, um, but I'll show you that one more time. Uh, if you want to start with it face up uh, and end face down, it's the same thing. So you, you grip with your thumb and middle finger. You turn. Your index finger contacts the side and turns it face down. It goes behind the hand as your thumb and pinky grab the deck and break it in half. You're going to pull it back and around as your left hand turns this packet back face up. Now your right hand is going to rotate this. Index finger contacts this. As it turns, you turn this packet, boom, boom. I'll do that one more time for you in slow motion. So you lift up, turn, you rotate this packet, face up. You grip the deck with your thumb and pinky of the right hand, break, come down. Your left hand turns this back face down. As your right hand now rotates it around your thumb, it lands. Your index finger contacts the top edge as this turns, turns, and then booyah, and then you can do panache. And that's Tai Chi. Enjoy. Panache. Uh, panache is another word for style, and it is a cool three packet cut. And an awesome video of me shot by Anna de Guzman. Haha, <laughs> plug, 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 plug. Okay, no, but seriously. Um, panache is a good opener or closer for any combo or routine that you're about to get into. It does, however, end the deck opposite the way it started. So if you start with it face down, the deck will end face up. Now if you start with it face up, obviously it'll end back face down. Okay, so this is good if you're going to use it for a palm fan um, or, or any other thing that you, you might learn. Uh, this is good with Tai Chi too. I use it to close Tai Chi. But to start this flush, um, it's very, very simple. It just looks cool because I guess I do it fast and it's very, very tight. Um, you're going to do a swing cut. And this packet is going to turn over into the left hand, like so. Okay, it's gonna flip off the edge, face up. You're going to open up for another swing cut as your right hand turns palm up. Okay. When this hand turns palm up, this hand will also turn um, face, I guess, down or palm down. And then you're gonna take this bottommost packet and flip it over. As that happens, the remaining packet in the right hand is going to rotate back face down. So instead of just going back face down, it's going to kind of like rotate. Contact this edge and then slide up 
and turned over as this whole packet gets charlier okay i'll explain that one more time so you do a swing cut this goes off the edge you're ready to do another swing cut but you turn the palm up as your right hand or your left hand turns palm down you grab the bottommost packet and just flip it over as this hand twists the back corner then slides up as this entire packet gets charlie in slow motion it kind of looks like this and then at regular speed okay really simple cut uh, and that's finesse hope you guys enjoy it Okay, so now we're on Palm Fan, the last flourish of this project. Uh, this is a fairly easy flourish. Um, I don't believe where I saw it uh, the first time, but I do remember that it was vertical. I believe it was on the Kusos website. The packets were like this, and you twisted, and, and it became like a really big fan. Um, it was very hard to close, and I guess it only worked because my hands were so long. So I developed a way to do it uh, sideways instead of on top of each other. And this is what I came up with. Uh, for this, you are gonna have to start with the deck face up. So bear with it, um, but it ends face down, okay? So uh, you're gonna riffle off about half the deck and uh, revolve it into the other hand, like so. You're gonna take the middle fingers of each hand and place them on the opposite packet. So my right hand middle finger is gonna go on the left hand packet and the left packet is gonna go on the right packet, okay? Once that's done, the thumbs are also gonna go onto the opposite packet like so. Okay, so this hand is pretty much only holding this packet and this hand is holding this packet like that, all right? What's gonna happen is now, your fingers are gonna twist to revolve these packets around like that, keeping the edges right on each other like that. Okay, I'll do that one more time. These two start to turn around each other like that, okay? After that's done, you open your right hand and place both packets side by side on one another like that. Try not to have the cards fall like I just did. Okay. Now, your other hand, your palm is going to go on top of your other hand, okay? But not like this, opposite of each other because you're going to twist and turn over your hand, okay? So when your hand goes on top, you're going to twist 
<laughs> excuse me and turn over your hand and that's how you get that that fan uh, this one is a little bit backwards so if i push it forward you can see how more symmetrical it is okay this works very good with new decks it will be very slippery though um with a with a broken in deck it will work very good um to close it um just do the reverse like how you just saw so this comes in you switch these packets you open the hand and lay both packets flat your hand comes on top twists you turn over now the fan is in your left hand and, and that's the palm fan okay to close you place your hand the same way this time on top of each other and retwist back the other way so you're going to twist again but basically undoing it into this hand okay it'll be a little bit more neater than that hopefully you place your thumb in the middle to create a little v and i lift this packet and then i just turn it over and turn the entire thing over like so okay and that's the palm pack what Chris wants, what the team thinks I am. I can't believe I listen to you. Hold it right there, kid. If you think I taught you to lie, then I taught you nothing. I never told you to be anything except for exactly what you were. What, a street hustling con man? Now, Freddie. Well, that's what I am. Well, then change who you are, man. You gotta keep growing and learning. Yeah, right. Hey, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. That's why most of us never change. But I'm telling you, pain makes gain, and I am telling you it's going to be well worth it. Oh, yeah? Well, what do you know about change? Hey, I know that you and I didn't grow up that different. Let me tell you something. In my neighborhood, I was the biggest kid on the block, so I thought that made me the baddest, too. Well, I was nothing but a stupid little street punk. Well, you know something? I'm not stupid. Of course you're not. That's my point. You aren't. And you could be somebody Somebody special if you would just try. Nobody can do it for you. You got to do it for yourself. Here's a little hint, old man. They don't either. Okay, Freddy. Turn this into a revenge thing and show everybody what a big creep them is. Go ahead. But they already know that. Or you could tell them the truth about who you are and about what you feel. Red art, red art, red art. Yeah, you already know who in the street is. Red art, this yeah. red art, this red yeah, yeah, art. Yeah. Extremely rare art, this rare uh, art. Thank you, bass guy, uh, for the beat. You know what I'm saying? Red art, this red art, this red art. And I still might serve you. Everything for sale, bitch. Yeah, I'm going to still selling Jerry like Hilltop Mall. No security, bitch. I'm down for it all. What up, Joe? What up, folk? What up, nigga? What up, man? Rock star, take a picture. Watch me hit that Kurt Angle. Hit that K Rabbit, getting money all angles. Red art, red art, red art. Extremely red art, this red art, this red art. Extremely red art, this red art, this red art. Extremely red art, this red art, this red art. Red art, red art, red art. Extremely red art, this red art, this red art. Extremely red art, this red art, this red art. Extremely red art, this red art.